right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. We're continuing the world tour for, I mean, presumptive best unit in the game, our darling Bulmachan right here. Uh, she's nasty, she's filthy, she's disgusting, she's sick, she's a beast, she's a monster, she's a king, she's a queen, she's everything. Uh, Bulm, oh, turn one, how lovely. Dude, I'm getting so tired of... Yeah, double Kid Goku, same rotation. Thank you so much. Alright, so... Oh, this works out fine. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, damn, dude. I, I would love to be able to just play the same game everyone else does, where everything... It's, oh, it's so... Oh, my God. The perfect RNG every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. It's just, every time. It's just so, so easy. So, Android 8 is very, very good, but, you know, there is one little uh, eenty, tweenty, tiny little side effect. Oh, he needs to be wrong with Kid Goku, right? Like, we do need Kid Goku on rotation here. Um, it's not a good idea, I don't think, to put Android 8 in the third slot right there. We could easily get supered. Uh, now, Bulma, remember, we got the five orbs, which is awesome, which means we're going to have the support on this rotation and next rotation. Yeah, Android 8 is going to be a concern in this run just because of the way our opening rotations were. And it's like, what am I going to do? Am I going to, you know, be like, oh, oopsie. Here, let me just reload 50 times. Okay. Oh, my queen. There we go. Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. That's good because that lowers attack, by the way. Oh, dude, tell me this asshole's gonna super Android 8. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. Okay. All right. Now, the world tour for Bulma so far is involving, I feel like, other characters potentially... Okay. Phew. Other characters potentially fold. Like, Bulma, we got no problems with her, right? Like, complete W across the board. I like her animations. Um, I, I think Bulma is, at this point, a summonable LR character. I've got no problem with that. Um, it's just, I certainly wish the other characters would stop, uh, crumbling, like, origami next to her. Oh, she's not supering at all? Okay. Sure. Alright, what do we got here? No. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What? I, again, this, this doesn't happen to other people. Again, I, I play a different game than other people do, for sure. Like, so now, okay, if you guys are not understanding what just happened, now, essentially, we're not going to have Kid Goku next to Bulma for the entire fight. It's just that simple. Like, it's it's just, whoop, just nice and easy peasy right there. I could float off Bulma, but the thing about floating Bulma off rotation is then we're losing the showcase character for multiple turns. I very, very... You guys, go back. And you could double-check this. I very rarely ever will float a showcase character off. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of doing that, right? Like, I want to get them on rotation, and we could, you know, they're constantly in the thick of things, right? Floating them off, and then it's just like, you know, the fight is over by the time they return, especially a fight like Omega. This used to be a really long fight, but, like, look at the way we're tearing through this boy now, right? Like... Um, okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, I, I think we'll put... We'll do this. We'll put uh, God Goku slot one. God Goku, I think, potentially could take a little damage here. Uh, no seven orbs, unfortunately. No. We can get six, though, which gives the support. Yeah, did you see Android 8's key right there? Beautiful. All right. Um. So, remember, Bulma, link-wise, I think, with a lot of the game, is not going to be the great... That sucks. Okay. I mean, it's not going to kill us. He is guarding, but ow. Um... Link-wise, Bulma's probably not going to work the greatest with most characters in the game, right? Because, you know, she is kind of rocking these, like, Dragon Ball-era links. You know, she's got uh, Battlefield Diva, you know, the Peppy Gal Link, right? She's rocking Brainiacs, which, I mean, there are some characters, like some Vegitos have Brainiacs. Um, a lot of Piccolos have Brainiacs, which can be helpful. But, like, you know, there's, there's certainly issues there. Um, but Bulma, as this dominant support type unit, who's also Rainbow Orb Changing... It does mean you definitely have a lot more kind of like versatility in how you're going to use her and how you can operate with her. Um, it's not really quite as important, I would say, um, you know, in like sort of like what her links are and stuff like that uh, because of the fact that she's providing all of this support. 
All right, so now Android 8, when when we next see him, he's going to be on... He double super twice in a row. Okay, obviously, obviously my Android 8 is built full dodge because that's, that's his purpose. We could revive, should we? I guess so, sure, right? Like, why, why not? <laughs> we could revive. I did not expect we were going to potentially revive against... Omega here. Well, I mean, this is still sin. Because this fight, of the world tour fight... Oh, no, yeah, we're not. Unless he supers Carnival Goku. Of the sort of world tour fights I do, Omega is definitely the, the weakest by far, right? Because Omega and Broly, um, they're, they're just like... Uh, the fights are just not as tough as they once were. Now, Broly holds up because he cancels Dodge. Dodge is the strongest mechanic in the game. And, on top of canceling dodge, which already would make Broly a much tougher fight, but Broly also has the AoE super attack, which is like a, a weaker unit stomper, right? Most of the best characters in the game at this point can just easily get around Broly's AoE, but, I mean, you know, you could run your Beast Gohan in there and you have a coin flip, right? 50-50, does he live or die, right? There's, you know, a lot of characters like that um, going into that fight, right? Like, Super 7, Dokkan Fest Super 17. Did you manage to fuse before you got there? If not, oops, you're dead in in one second, right? A lot of, lot of characters like that. Okay, the Kid Goku's. Keep in mind... Oh, yeah, Carnival Goku was tanking easily, and th this stuff happens. Remember that we... Uh, ha everyone here had Bulma support activated. Th I don't think this kills. Not Kid Goku, right? Oh, yeah, it does. Jeez, Kid Goku. Kid Goku, bro. Come From him? I mean, I guess it is type disadvantage, and th th this sin, STR sin. He is about a 1 million damage boss, right? He is, so... I mean, I don't want to be too harsh. Oh, this kind of sucks. I want... I'd like... I, I mean, I, I'm going to give the Super to God Goku right here, all these orbs, but... Yeah, because it, it just... Look how much we're healing just from orbs, too. Boom was at 349. Was Vegeta... Did Vegeta already use this? I can't remember if we've, we've used Rage Vegeta's support or not. I, I, I already... It, it's already just left my mind. Kid Goku eating 400k plus always does hurt me. Was that the friend Kid Goku that I had? That was, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright, at the time I'm recording this, I will say this. Alright. Build your path to power Kid Goku full dodge. Don't listen to the morons out there. Because that friend Kid Goku has now died twice on the world tour for me with his zero dodge. I mean, that time we had the revive ready to go. It wasn't a problem, right? I I did my three Metal Cooler core runs, and again, the units around Bulma were crumbling, so I'm going to finish that video later, and I'm going to you know upload the Omega one first, but that friend, Kid Goku, who has 30 additional, guess what? That additional is not winning you fights. But if Kid Goku would dodge and not get hit by the super attack, that would win us fights, yeah. It was. It was the friend, Kid Goku. This one. This is the one that got hit by that super. One dodge. <laughs> okay. No, I just... I, guys, I'm not a fan of this. Because Kid Goku... I mean, I'm viewing him more in his support role than I, I am. I mean, Kid Goku, I mean, he could pop out these triple 10 millions, right? That's definitely really good damage. But uh, this is just such a full dodge character. I, I just really... Uh, that that additional like people just tunnel vision damage and it just doesn't win you fights the way dodging these boss supers do these bosses are designed to just one shot you right they're not whittling you down typically so all right we will oh bro can we i'm i want to do this because this carnival goku his ko screen is so rare he can't finish we'll do this Ni kagen ni shiro. 
Actually, if, if Goku had crit, he would have finished him off right there. Yeah, he would have for sure. Okay, okay, okay. Because I, I, I was, I wanted to do that to potentially get the KO screen, but you know, I, I, as I was doing it, I was like, yeah, he's probably not going to kill right there. But I mean, that was he did okay-ish damage. Uh, th this is not going to touch us at all. This is fine. Yeah. All right. Um, let's just go ahead and clean Omega up here. I don't think we're probably going to get Bulma's active. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're definitely not getting Bulma's active. No way. Um, okay. Wait. Oh! Oh, it is turn seven. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's turn seven. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Check this out. Check this out. Let me explain how I'm going to do this turn. We could pop... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not getting the active skill, bruh. It's not happening. Uh, we could pop active Bulma's active skill first, which would give the massive attack buff to God Goku, right? Well, uh, God Goku's active skill. Because remember, Bulma makes all allies super effective against all types. It's not going to work. That, that doesn't matter for God Goku's active, which is a guaranteed crit. But it would give him the 17% attack and offensive active skill buff, which would make his active skill hit harder. But if I do that... It creates all SDR key spheres, and potentially it could be tough getting the orbs for Kid Goku. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to do... Yeah, okay, 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 okay. What, what, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to have Kid Goku go first. We're going to get his orbs because now Bulma will change the field of orbs to full STR, and there's a chance... That after we clear the field of orbs with our full SCR orbs, there's a chance then that the orbs would not be good for Kid Goku afterwards. So I'm gonna do it like this instead. I would have liked to get God Goku's active skill in the middle slot because I'm not really sure. Yeah, Kid Goku does have Kamehameha. I'm not actually really too sure how it works for um, God Goku with his active skill. When, when we do this active skill, which Link set is it taking into account for his damage? Is it his Super Saiyan Link set or his God Goku Link set? I'm actually not sure on that. Because if you look, like, before the animation even plays, like, you could quickly catch a glimpse sometimes that, like, the, the portrait and stuff, like, changes to Super Saiyan Goku already. Um, I, we'll just get this. So, by clicking this, right, uh, Bulma's going to get the huge stats, but this is also going to give us the support buff as well. Bam! So now, we get the huge support buff for God Goku. She's at 760. Typically, I like to put the showcase units in front of the boss attacks, but, I mean, you guys know, like, Bulma's not taking damage from normals against this guy, duh. Awesome. Uh, now, I guess we would have a worst case scenario here, which would be Kid Goku kills Omega <laughs> before Bulma can attack. I guess I don't really care because the thing about if that would happen, right? Let's say Kid Goku triple supers right here and does kill Omega. Uh, uh, one major reason he's doing that is because of Bulma's active skill support and Bulma's um, or passive orb support as well. Okay, we got a normal right there. Okay, so he's not dead. Uh, Bulma's gonna kill him, though. Yeah, okay, well. Yeah, uh, uh, you see these, I, like, Kid Goku's numbers are just so much higher next to Bulma. He's doing so much more damage. It's, it's, he, he's hitting a lot harder. And now Omega dies to Bulma, right? <laughs> yeah.
Now you eat this uh, 15 milli spot real quick. And uh, keep in mind that Bulma does have a guaranteed additional super after that as well. It Her impact is just unbelievable. It's just so crazy what Bulma's impact is, right? Like, the extra damage she gives not only to Kid Goku, but God Goku's active skill. Remember that that Super Saiyan Goku was going to get buffed by Bulma. And then the entire next rotation. Is like, <laughs> again, I, I, this has to be like the first Yellow Queen LR. Who I think is probably the number one unit in the game since I think LR, Goku, and Frieza. Bulma is just silly. 